Hey Guardians, Spade here. Today I'm doing a god roll guide and review of the Season of the Risen auto rifle, Sweet Sorrow. Before we get started though, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and want more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Without further delay, let's dive right in. So for this review, I'm gonna split this into four parts. I will leave timestamps below in the description. For part one, I'm gonna speak to my experience with this weapon across various activities in the game, as well as what I like and dislike about the weapon. For part two, I'm gonna compare it to other weapons in its archetype. Part three, I'm gonna talk about the PVE and PVP god roll that I would personally recommend. And finally, for part four, I'm gonna give it a final score or rating alongside my closing thoughts of the weapon. From the time I picked up this weapon and started using it in Season of the Risen, I've had nothing but a great experience across most activities in the game. I've used it in Strikes, Nightfalls, Gambit, Crucible, even in the Day 1 raid with Contest Mode on. I never felt like I was at a disadvantage or wanted or needed to take the weapon off or use something else. The only time I did is when I needed a different weapon for a champion. I've also found the experience with this weapon to be very consistent and just flat out fun to use. Especially when dealing with ad clearing, it straight up shreds everything in its path, especially with the right perk combination. On top of this, with the new origin perk land take built into this weapon, it gives it even more of an edge. Especially when dealing with a lot of enemies in a hectic situation, that little buff to resilience actually comes in quite handy. It also feels surprisingly good to use in PvP despite auto rifles not really being part of the current meta. It's easily one of the best auto rifles you can use in the energy slot right now, especially if you are pairing it with something like Wither Horde or Ignition Code. My only real gripe with this weapon is I wish it could roll with Adrenaline Junkie and Overflow, which I absolutely love using on my Arc Logic auto rifle, but besides that, I can't really think of any other issues I have with this weapon. So the real question is, despite my experience with this auto rifle being very positive, how does it stack up compared to other 720 ARs in the game? As of right now, there are really only three other 720s. Arctic Haze from Beyond Light, which is a solar energy AR, Chroma Rush from Season of the Splicer, which is a kinetic, and finally Krite, which is a brand new kinetic AR that is part of the foundry weapons Bungie introduced in this season and the Witch Queen. So if we take a look of these 4720s side by side using LightGG's compare tool, we can get a glimpse of how the base stats of these weapons compare. Do keep in mind this is just comparing the base stats and we have yet to cover anything to do with perk combinations, which can definitely affect this. So looking at the stats here from range all the way down to the magazine size, it's about on par with Chroma Rush and Arctic with a little bit of give and take here and there. But as you can see, stacked next to Krite, Krite does have quite a bit of a leg up in each of these stat areas, mainly in range. But where it lacks in range compared to Krite, it makes up for in zoom. Having a little bit more zoom than Krite is actually more beneficial in my opinion than just having straight up more range. So do keep that in mind. Also, as someone that has used both Krite and Sweet Sorrow, I haven't really felt much of a difference in these space stats. At the same time though, having a little bit of a leg up is gonna make a difference when you start adding on perks here. Now when you look at the bottom half for aim assist all the way down to recoil, Sweet Sorrow actually pretty much dominates this whole bottom area, which in my opinion, aim assist, zoom, and recoil are gonna have a lot bigger effect on the overall consistency and experience of the weapon than just having more range and more reload speed. On top of this, with Sweet Sorrow being an energy auto rifle, I can use things like Wither Horde or Ignition Code or the new Kinetic Stasis Fusion Rifle, Deliverance. Whereas if I'm using Krite, it's a Kinetic auto rifle, so I can't use certain special weapons weapons in that kinetic slot. And in my opinion, that is completely worth the trade-off of choosing this over Krite. Mm -hmm. 
So as we dive into the God rolls here, I do want to preface that I'm going to give you my personal favorite version of the PVE and PVP God rolls that I enjoy using. At the same time though, I'm also going to recommend the best roll if you really want to min max and get the most out of this weapon and the activity of your choice. So diving right into the PVE God roll, starting in column four, the perk I like the most here is one for all. It's one of the easiest, most passive perks in the game that's gonna give you damage across the board. It doesn't matter if it's a yellow bar, an ad, a boss, whatever it may be. All you have to do is hit three enemies to proc the 35% damage, and that damage will last for a whopping 10 seconds. This is perfect for a 720 auto rifle and is also viable in pinnacle content, such as dungeons, raids, and grandmaster nightfalls. With that said, there are actually other good options in this column that you could utilize. If you don't wanna have to think about proccing one for all, you could just use something like Vorpal Weapon, especially if you're dealing with champions. That's just gonna give you a free 20% damage buff. This also works against most yellow bars in the game. Turnabout could also be a great option in Pinnacle content as it's gonna give you an overshield for 10 seconds after breaking the shield of a combatant. And then you could also use something like good old fashioned demo if you're running a grenade build. Moving on to column three, I actually really like using triple tap. That's the main role I've been using ever since since I got it to drop, and it's actually a lot more useful than I expected it to be. Now, if you want to min-max and get something that really synergizes well with one for all, a better option would be stats for all, because as you proc one for all, you're gonna proc stats for all at the same time, because they have both the same requirements, just hitting three separate targets, and it's gonna give you a boost to handling, stability, reload, and even range for 10 seconds, just like one for all. Moving on to column two, I would actually recommend going going with Flare Magwell over something like Tactical Mag because the only real difference between the two is that you're gonna get a little bit more reload speed on Flared Magwell versus just two extra shots in your mag with Tactical Mag. And then finally for column one, I would actually go with Arrowhead Break which is gonna help bring that recoil up to 87 and it's gonna help make the recoil a little bit more straightforward. And then for the mod, I would go with Minor Spec to give you that 70% extra damage on top of One For All. And for the Masterwork, I would go for Range. Moving on to the PvP God Roll, starting in Column 4, to help with some accuracy and stability, we're gonna choose Tap the Trigger, which I think is the best option to go for with this auto rifle. For column three, I would go for Killing Wind, which is gonna buff your range, mobility, and handling. Paired with Tap the Trigger, this thing's gonna feel like a laser. Now, if you're not a big fan of Killing Wind, you could also go with Perpetual Motion, which is basically a free perk that's gonna buff your stability, handling, and reload speed by just moving around the map. And column two, to help give us some more range, we're gonna go with Accurized Rounds. And finally, for the first column, just like we did on the PvE God Roll, I would recommend also going with Arrowhead Break, which again is gonna help that recoil direction and help buff our handling a little more. As far as the Masterwork goes, I would go for Range Masterwork. And finally, for the mod, I would go with Quick Access Sling. <laughs> So after covering everything from my experience with this weapon to comparing it with other 720 auto rifles in the game, as well as covering the perk combination options for the God Roll and my overall likes and dislikes of this weapon, I'm gonna rate this on a scale of one to 10 and the score I'm going to give it is a 9.0 or A minus. I really do think this is one of the best auto rifles in the game across the board, both in PVP and PVE, has a lot of great perk options, overall solid stats, feels very consistent, not to mention the origin perk, land tank, as well as the ability to craft this weapon with enhanced perks. It's really just a fun all around auto rifle for tearing through ads. The only thing keeping me from giving it a 9.5 or even a perfect 10 is that it doesn't have access to perks like Overflow, Frenzy, or an Adrenaline Junkie. I think any one of those perks would have helped push this auto rifle even further into greatness. I also would have liked to see just a little bit more range on the base stats comparable to the Kinetic Krite auto rifle. Otherwise, this is an auto rifle I would definitely pick up and grab, and I know for myself I will definitely be investing time into crafting this weapon going forward. 
So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up today, Guardians. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, again, please be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and want more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later. Mm -hmm.